Okay, now I'm done breaking shit. Hello and welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and I doubt that's the end of you breaking shit. <laughs> Hello for the day, at least. Anyways, it's me. It's Juan. What are we playing, Tim? We're playing Boyfriend Dungeon. Hell yeah. Because nothing be. says, ooh, I love you, like a knife. Or a rapier. Or a rapier. Or a glaive. <laughs> <laughs> um, we saw this on the pass. And I was like, oh, we should play that, because in the trailer, it says you date your weapons. And there's a cat. <laughs> and Juan wanted to date a cat. Uh, that, that just sounds, sounds horrible, fun. doesn't it? A little bit. Play with care and take breaks as needed. And you're going to get unwanted advancements. You know, from a cat. That's right. Fix your pronouns. I don't know. What do you think? Just go for round. Definitely not that white. Definitely not that brown. Nope. I think that works. <laughs> You're medium light. <laughs> oh, that works. Right. Okay. They sometimes send you supportive text messages from a character named Mom. Is that okay? Alright, let's see what Mama has to say. Final boarding call for Verona Beach. All passengers, please board immediately. It kind of looks like The Sims. Or Sim City. It looks more like Sim City. Sims. Yeah, it sounds like a little more realistic. Are these the places I'm supposed to visit? Kitty. <laughs> nightclub? Okay, is someone spinning around in a circle in a yes. nightclub with their hands extended? Yeah. <laughs> they're probably gonna get thrown out. <laughs> no, they're just saying, stay away from me. This is my hey, bubble. Thanks. Sorry, I just remember you as a little kid. <laughs> Cousin problem. I was in college, and you were like in the fifth grade or something. Back before California. Doesn't matter. Come on, I'll show you your room for the summer. Before California? Like before it became a state? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Stay here until my lease runs out in September. Moved out to live with my parents last month, so you get free rent. Plus, we'll have the whole summer to solve your little problem. Mom said you hadn't gone on a date. Like, not in your whole life. How does it know? It's not a big deal, but I'll do it. I can't help you. It's summer of love. <laughs> First, summer of totally platonic friendly hangouts. Those are good too. Not a pickup artist, but pretty sure I can teach you something about meeting people. As long as you're willing to be a little adventurous, you've come to the right place. Rona Beach is a town for lovers, so it's best to keep your eyes and mind open. We'll guarantee you fall in love, but a date shouldn't be too hard to arrange. So what do you think your problem, main problem is? Uh, I'm cursed? Sure. Possible, but it can't hurt to build up some courage. Could just take bravery to break, I imagine. So let's make you brave. Our step in love is finding someone with similar interests and talking to them. Uh -huh. So let's get you some confidence. <laughs> the new fitness fad we're on, perfect for meeting people and facing your fears. Have an open mind though, you ready? It's Dungeons! Wow, they just kind of shoehorn that in there, don't they? <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey! Uh, <laughs> you wanna know how you. Not sex dungeons though. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I gonna say, you know how to meet people dungeon crawling. So I forgot to set a timer. Because <laughs> one is lame -o. So I guess they're um, parallels. Never mind. Don't think about that. You know, done from like video games or D and D, like that, but in real life. There's been more monster infestations lately, so people kill them for money. It's great for building confidence, also getting workouts. Plus, wait, uh, hey, I wanted to ask. Can you turn into a weapon? <laughs> wow. 
What? I, I can try, and maybe can you. Those aren't the ones that I would be asking. Be like, a what? He's eyes shut, and imagine turning into a sword, long and sharp. Over to the side, see if it works. Nope, hands still there. Same old deal. Oh. No, I don't look sad, because I can't do it, right? Me neither. Guess it doesn't run in the family. Transforming big is... Transforming's big in Verona Beach. Out here, people like us are called wielders, at least around 11 folks. You'll do great. Especially after your combat lessons from a sword friend of mine, I arranged for one this afternoon. You feel your heart start to thump heavily. Meeting someone? Already? Just his eyes wide and he shakes his head. Stop, take a deep breath. It's not a date, it's a lesson. He's a bit of a straight edge anyways. Remember, wielding isn't romantic. Perfectly platonic friends can wield each other, okay? Is that like friends with benefits? <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go with no. Important thing is that you're stronger together. So whenever you're ready, get out there and go to the mall. Go to the mall to learn how to sword fight. <laughs> Dungeons are apparently about facing your fears, so I don't really know. Ask Isaac. We're we'll waiting inside. It's a fencing teacher and a perfect professional. In the meantime, I'll set you up for proper date. Always check your text messages. Just because the leave is impossible. <gasps> ah, I forgot to give you a little tour of the apartment. But there's sort of. All there is. All yours. I have ideas of how you could use the shells and desks, but we can talk about that after you settled in. Feel free to use the mirror anytime if you want to try some looks. No pressure. See ya. See ya, kids. Crafting, phone, mirror, zines. Okay, so this has got to be set early because there's magazines. There's actual paper print. <laughs> Can I reply? So it's not like Catherine. Oh, we should have done Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. <laughs> Still need to get the new one. Or the update. Oh, the one with the, yeah. The third one. With a Q. Catherine. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Catherine. I am a giant. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful, it's dangerous to go to the mall. Evidently. <laughs> Find a long, thin blade that fits nicely into your grip. Man, the voice vibrates in the middle of your hand, making you jump. You must be Jesse's friend. Hi, I'm Isaac. Indeed. Though I don't require the sword, Appellate. At least I'd hope you don't call me the man when I'm in my human form. But I'm indeed in a stock at times. Forgive me for remaining in this form for now. It takes some effort to change shape. And I'd rather focus on the lesson at hand. Your hand on my hilt is as good a handshake as any, after all. <clears throat> Sounds sexy. Wow. That, that's only a now, little dirty. You take a look around, you'll see we're in a mall. A dungeon is a place you can confront your insecurities. They shortened it to dunge. Yep. Here, your own psychology <laughs> will create monsters to fight. I chose the mall because most people have fears that easily manifest here. I have PTSD of the mall, man. <laughs> we used to work there. <laughs> it was like perfect. Like fears that manifest in the mall? You mean Black Friday? <laughs> it depends on the person. Strangers, inadequacy, sterility, poverty. Everyone's afraid of something. Let's go ahead and look around. Let's see if we can find any monsters. You mean like fight. bears? I already miss you. <laughs> oh, okay. I was like, who the fuck? My wallet was stolen. <laughs> I'm fine, mom. 
Oh, good. Stay on your guard, okay? I love you, sweetie. Be good. Probably through the doors. These ones? No, these ones. Over. There you go. Is that a cell phone? That's a cell phone. <laughs> Your form is rough, but you have strong potential. Yeah. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> when I first started going to the dungeon as a wielder, I fought some trucks. <laughs> I hate trucks too. <laughs> yes, trucks. Strange as it is. I don't even hate trucks, and yet they manifested. They were monsters, pickup trucks, dump trucks, even cement grinders. It's not really a truck, though. It's because I had some issues around masculinity and boyhood, probably from my father. Eventually, I worked through that and killed a big boss monster truck. It felt good. <laughs> My point is that your phone monster could mean a few things. Maybe you fear connection to other people and intimacy. It's like this game's talking to my soul. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you feared helplessness crawled like a worm the way it did. No. We'll figure out the deeper. We'll figure out the deeper we explore the, to the dungeon. We'll just go as deep as we can today. If we get too tired and collapse, that's okay. We're still getting to keep any treasure we find. Mm. To avoid fainting, look for beverage, tea, coffee, any sort of things. Keep your spirits up. You can hold up three, hold up to three at a time and use them when you need them. I was going to say, it looks like it's a cup over Yeah. One last observation, you can use the power of zines in combat. I think that's zines. Zines. Magazines. Yeah. Press the zine button to use your dungeon zines. And breathe fine. Breathe fire? Breathe fire. Wow. Maybe later you can find a new zine. Or even make your own. Be sure not... Be sure to not always rely on them, though, as their use is limited. Right. So be brave and let's fight as best we can. Together, we can overcome anything. Okay, so if I do this, pick that up. Bag of trash. Ah! <laughs> There's so many! Well, Is this thing freaking trash talking me? <laughs> yep. Hmm. What's that? It's a safe. A sword? How did it get here? The hilt is cool, almost cold to the touch, but it quickly warms under your hand. The blade begins to transform. Oh, well, hello, you two. Name's Sunder. Isaac Brooks, pleased to make your acquaintance. Unusual to be here without a wielder, no? Yeah. To be honest, I'm not really sure how I got here. Last thing I remember is someone in a cloak, chanting. And now I'm all dinged up. I must have made someone really angry if they abducted me and shipped me, whoever they are. 
But my luck is turning around because here you are. Can I dual wield? I didn't think anyone <laughs> like you would be in the dungeon. Oh, if you're into it, maybe we can go on a date later. Would that be okay? <laughs> are you more sword or man? <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you're obsessed with body binaries. Turns out there's very few mutual exclusivities out there in the world. If we fight together, I'll protect you. All in, no matter the shape of this body. Maybe together we can figure out how I got down here. I mean, who would leave me here and not keep me in their embrace forever, right? Plenty of people are jealous of the rose in his mouth. So yep. Now I'll just cut my way out of here while you two finish up your run. I'll text you. That is why it's on the way to me almost to do. He was knocked out, damaged, and imprisoned here. Weapon forms heal quickly, as they are made from our spirits more than our bodies. Still, this is serious. I'll report our findings to the authorities. I hope the abductor can be caught. Let's keep our eye out for any other victims as we explore the dungeon. Ah, technology! <laughs> Don't push yourself too hard. No! <laughs> well, that's kind of perfect. Because, <laughs> uh, more of a next time on, uh, Bro Hops. I get to see what happens when I pass out.